Dear students, in this module, I am going to talk about the raw file formats that are there out in the market. There are many companies that fabricate these mass spectrometer instruments which are extremely expensive at times. And they output the data that is obtained by using these mass spectrometers in raw file formats. These raw file formats are binary formats which are not readable by the eye. Let's take a look at them in detail. So the two things that are output in the form of uh, the raw data are the mass over charge ratio and the relative abundance of the ions that are there in the mass spectrometer's chamber. Now each one of them is measured and represented as the mass over charge ratio and output in binary format. So binary format is essentially a format that is computer language and we cannot read that ourselves. In order for you to read the data and process it further and search for the proteins and peptides, you have to convert it into a readable format. In this table, I have tabulated several vendors that are there who make different types of mass spectrometers. There are multi multiple types of mass spectrometers and each one of them has its own unique strength and weakness due to the unique methodology that it adopts in analysis of the proteins and peptides. So here I have tabulated first the vendor in this column and then for instance in case of Agilent, this vendor makes two types of mass spectrometers that is ion trap and QTOF or quadruple TOF time of flight. So each one of these mass spectrometers has its own raw file format. So if you buy a QTOF mass spectrometer from Agilent, then you will have a .d file. But if you have an ion trap from the same company, the mass spectrometer will output ye p format file. Now, if there are so many raw file formats, we need some way to come at a standard which is usable which is consumable by other software tools towards identification of proteins. For that purpose there are several converter softwares that are available and they convert this raw file for instance the D file or the YEP file into standard data representations. For instance the Agilent D and YEP files can be converted into MZXML or MZML file by using these two tools. Similarly, you can use other tools that are mentioned here in this column to convert these raw files into standard data formats. At this point, let me emphasize why do we need the standard file formats. Dear students, everybody wants to analyze his or her proteins in a unique way. You can develop a new algorithm and you will need to look at the data in order to test your algorithm. So for that, you need to be able to read the data in a software program. Therefore, we need open file formats that is in XML or flat text files. So here I have tabulated some of the free, freely available tools that are out there to convert raw file formats into MZXML or MZ data file. So you can just choose which mass spectrometer you have by looking at this column and then the corresponding column by using this software. In this way you can actually convert any raw file format from any mass spectrometer into standard MZML or MZ data or MZ XML file formats. So this is very useful for the research and development of new algorithms. Okay, in conclusion, multiple file formats exist and that you need to convert these raw file formats into standard files and you can do that by just looking at some of the online tools that are freely available in the, uh, on the internet and you can convert your specific instruments raw data into MZXML or other open data formats.